Hi, my name is San King and I'm an art instructor at the Fresno Art Museum. And today I'm going to be guiding you through an art project. The art project that we're going to be working on today is a landscape drawing inspired by the book Growing an Artist by John Parra. Uh, growing up, John Parra worked with his dad a lot on his landscaping uh, contracting and that's how he learned how to uh, draw and design things because when he was working with his dad, he also brought his sketchbook along with him and he was able to not only help his dad, but also draw along the birds, the fountains, the trees, anything that he saw, he was able to draw. And the book is basically talking about him helping his dad, but also him learning how to become an artist. So today we're also gonna be designing a landscape of our own. And here's an example of one that's already done. And I'm gonna walk you guys through on how to do that, okay? So first of all, we're gonna need to think about some ideas that we want for our drawing, okay? So I have a paper here that says list of ideas or park designs. When you're making your project, you can think about anything that you want. It can be a park, it can be a landscape, whatever you want, okay? So I have a list here of things. So you can have paths made out of brick, wood, or stone. You can have trees, you can have bushes, shrubs or flowers, green plants, water features ponds, streams, fountains, whatever you want, rocks, bridges, playgrounds, slides. I have an example drawing over here with a slide too. Benches, picnic tables, buildings, even a maze, a stage if you want. It's your own landscape, anything that you want to design, okay? Um, I'm just gonna draw some ideas here to help you guys visualize how to draw some of these things, okay? So maybe if you want a brick path, you can draw some uh, two lines like this here. And then you can just make some dividing lines here. And then kind of when you segment them, you can kind of make different lines like this. And then it'll kind of look like a brick path, okay? And then trees are pretty simple, but we kind of want to be inspired by John Parra, right? So if we look at the book over here, Oops. We've got some pretty cool looking trees here. And you guys notice how he makes the branches here? So we kind of want to replicate that kind of style. So using a lot of long lines and then also lines that kind of branch out. So lines like this. And then lines that branch out like this. Or maybe like this. And he also makes various different kinds of leaf shapes. So you can have ones that look like that or you can even have ones that look like this, or even ones that are more regular leaf shaped, whatever you want, okay? And let's draw one more thing, maybe um, a water fountain and a bridge. All right, so let's start with a water fountain. I'm just gonna do a little oval like this. And then maybe another little middle part there and then you can have water flowing out like that. And then, oh, I also set a bridge, right? So let's do a bridge as well. So maybe a bridge has this here. Maybe this is the beginning of the bridge. It's going over like that. And then maybe the land here and then some water underneath, okay? So there's some examples of some things you can draw on your landscape, whatever feels comfortable for you. I'm gonna get a new paper now and then right over here. So we have a blank piece of paper, and I know a blank piece of paper can be daunting sometimes, but we're just gonna start with a horizon line, maybe going like this, and then let's do a path going like this over here. Maybe I want a pond, oh, let me make the path like this. And we're just sketching right now, so you guys don't need to worry about any lines or anything like that. Maybe we have a pond over here like this with some water over here like this. Let's add a bench right here. Like that. There's a bench here like this. And then let's add a tree over here. Maybe the tree looks like this. It has these lines like this that we talked about. Kind of copying that style of John Parra. 
And then you can even add a really big tree over here to make it kind of look like it's in front of the bench like this. And then also let's add a sun over here. And then let's add maybe another bench over here like this. Maybe some potted plants over here like this. I'm just gonna do some simple bushes like that. If you have lines going over each other, don't worry about it. You can go back over and erase it. So this is just a really rough sketch. I have one where I've already sketched it and we can switch over to that one. So here's one where I added a bunch of different stuff, okay? So if you guys can see, I added a fountain that I talked about. I also added another tree here with different kinds of shapes, There's some rocks, maybe a stone path leading here. And then we've got this tree in the front over here, okay? So once you feel like you've laid everything out and you've drawn it really well and it looks good and you feel comfortable with the landscape you've made, we can switch on over to using color pencils, okay? So the next material that we wanna switch to are color pencils, okay? So you can just think about, you know, coloring whatever colors you want. We've got uh, green over here. We can use green for some of the bushes up here like this, and you can color it any way you want. You don't have to outline things because in John Parra's art style, things are kind of just nice flat colors, okay? So we can add some colors over here. Like this. And I'm coloring really quickly, but take your time. You don't need to rush. You're just designing a landscape. I'm gonna switch over to the color brown for the, root, the branches and roots of the trees and the tree trunk, like this. Oh. And then let's go on to the water where I drew the pond here. So I'm actually gonna outline this a little bit. And then go over it with the color pencil. Like this. So as you're coloring, think about the colors you want. Think about what kind of landscape you want the mood of it, even colors that you pick can change how it feels. You know, if it's nighttime, what are the colors gonna be like? You know, are they gonna be more blue? If it's daytime, if your landscape's in daytime, what kind of colors would be shown, right? So think about those kinds of things, right? I have a sun up here, so a lot of the colors are gonna be nice and bright, like the grass and the landscape on this hill over here, right? and you're just kind of working and coloring throughout your landscape, okay? And this whole thing's gonna be green. And for this path, I think I want kind of like an orange yellow here. So I'm gonna do that here too. So you're just using your coloring pencils and you're coloring your landscape and finishing it. I have one that I've already colored and finished and I'll show you guys right here. So here's the finished one that I made. And you can notice all the colors that I used in the brick path. I even added little segments with a different color to show those little brick segments. I've added different kinds of greens in these little bushes. I've got this tree here. And I've even got the sun that John Parra uses too. So you guys can see the sun that John Parra uses here. And here's the final project. Thank you guys.